What's up guys? So today is the day I've been waiting for for a while. Um, they just updated the firmware to the DJI Spark, um, adding sphere mode. So as you guys know, I love tiny planets and I love finding different unique ways to take tiny planets. Um, and some of my favorite tiny planets are taken from the air. So what this is gonna allow us to do guys is take um, the native software of the DJI Spark, um, DJI Go 4, and take pictures in sphere mode. And then we're going to be able to take it back into the lab. Um, I actually think sphere mode is actually going to create a little planet on here before, but I've never tested it. Um, so we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try that. Um, but it's a little windy out here, and uh, um, I'm on top of my my roof of my parking garage at work um, just because as you can see behind me there's these beautiful red trees um, and I've been looking at these for weeks and I kind of want to I kind of want to grab them before all the leaves fall off so I've got my building over there where I work and uh, uh, so we're gonna try this out it may fail um, there's a little grassy yard right behind me so if my spark falls out of the sky It'll land on grass, um, but uh, anyway, yeah, let's test this out, guys. So here we go, guys. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set it to pano, and I'm gonna set it to sphere mode, okay? And then let's go to settings. And we're going to set it to manual. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take off. Take off. All right, so like I said, guys, the compass is calibrated now just because I lifted it off the ground a little bit. What it may do is I might keep it away from the trees. I'm gonna go over here. A little bit. Oh, no, it's backing up. It might be way too windy, guys. So let's see what spear mode does. Please stay still to ensure the best quality. Wow, guys, it's taking 46 images. It's taking them fast, too. I'm already up to 10 images. So this may not be a very good quality um, panoramic, but we're gonna go through the motions today and you guys can just see what it's doing. Now it's moving a lot, so I don't see how this is gonna be a very good stitch. But those, red, those red trees look gorgeous, guys. And it's interesting the images that it's taken. It's definitely not the way that I take images. But they might have their own formula. Now that we've got it down, um, we're going to go back. We're going to hit the play button. Um, and first thing we're going to do is we can go to this one 
Looks like we're stitching again. It did stitch before, and it kind of had this really cool slow motion rotating thing going on. Um, but guys, full on sphere. Um, I don't know, I don't like how zoomed in it was because I didn't really get any sky, but um, hopefully it'll be a cube image that I can use it on Instagram. Um, and literally guys, that was a panorama at the push of a button. Literally, a tiny planet. I just put my spark where I wanted it to go. I hit the panorama button. I hit the panorama button that was set to sphere. And uh, yeah, it took a tiny planet. Um, now I'm anxious to see if it creates an equirectangular image um, or if it's just a sphere. Because I kind of like... And it did okay. This was a bad example because of the all the lines on the parking lot. So that wind was moving my, my spark around. So um, all the lines on the parking lot aren't perfect. But I was also really close to the ground when I took it. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go over to images and see what it did. So yeah, that's what it did guys. So the tiny planet in the DJI Go 4 app is just a viewer. Um, but it actually creates the echo rectangular. So that's pretty sweet. Full on images. All right guys. So no stitching required. It does it in the software. And I'm gonna upload this straight to Kula. Um, so you guys can see what it looks like. All right guys, so now I'm here at my second location using my second battery. And we're gonna try it again. Uh, this time we're gonna do it over a green grassy field so it won't have any um, lines on the street to try to um, figure out um, where to stitch the image. And I don't think the wavering and the moving around is gonna change in this location um, because it's still pretty windy. But, um, but I'm flying next to this building behind me so hopefully that will um, cushion some of the wind um, and it, it'll make a cool, um, a cool focal point for the, for the planet. Um, as far as like trees, there aren't any beautiful red trees that were in my last image. Um, but, uh, the grass is green. We've got a pink tree over there and we've got some, some goodness going on over here and we have a walking trail. So the walking trail, um, might add some some cool little extra goodness. So here we go guys, let's get into it. All right guys, so I got my DJ Spark um, ready to go. We got 12 satellites, got low battery on my phone, awesome. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the settings mode. We're gonna select Pano and Sphere. All right, then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna lock it into manual mode. Okay. And here we go, let's do it. Take off, the home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right guys, so we're gonna go to point Kind of wavering a little bit. I'm gonna take it up to about here. We're gonna do a panorama. It's drifting a little, guys. Now when it's moving, it's fine. So when you put it into panorama mode, it kind of keeps its position pretty well to take the images. Okay, so we're stitching the images now using the DJI Go 4 app. Um, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna look like a tiny planet, but it's actually creating an equirectangular image. And 
I believe it's filling out the sky um, so that it's a true two to one ratio. Um, and I'm gonna export it to my uh, photo reel. And what that lets me do is it lets me take it into Theta Plus app or it lets me take it into Roll World, um, lets me take it into Snapseed and fix it. Um, but guys, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful image. So we're gonna export that. So we export it to our local album and we're good. All right guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this panoramic as well as other panoramas that I've taken today. And uh, so you guys can see um, what it looks like. So happy flying guys, keep safe and uh, have a wonderful day.